Welcome back everyone, this is Shadow Drake. Alright, for this tutorial, we're going to go through alias, define, and making notations on your code. Alright, so, for a first thought experiment for why these are important, let's just import a program from my hard to read chip to show you a working program. And I'm going to go ahead and pause. And I'm just going to ask you to look at this program and ask and I'm just going to ask you if you are able to figure out what this does feel free to pause look it over or skip ahead all right now that you skipped ahead uh, were you able to tell what is going on with all of these registers, devices, and parameters. Now, if you answered no, don't feel bad because this is a very poorly documented program made extremely hard to read. It works, but it is the fact that it is hard to read will obviously have some drawbacks for anyone who's coming to fix this. So what I am now going to do is import the easier to read and we can go over it. As you can see, if you were to compare this main side by side with the previous program, nothing has changed. Maybe the only thing that you can see that is different is now suddenly I have different strings for different names. Some registers may not be named, but this you can also see that I have lots of notation for what is going on. Now, if you were able to look at the previous program and come up with the fact that this is basically a script for calculating how much thrust you need to land a rocket, and particularly Europa, because Europa has a negative 1.3 gravitational force. And if you've been watching the Trade Europa series that I've been doing, you will see that I basically built this from scratch. And so now we get to the main topic of of why we have alias define and how to make notes. So the alias function allows you to relabel a register or device with a name. And it can be any name that makes sense to you as an individual. A define does the same thing except it renames purely a constant. So the main benefits of aliasing devices or registers or naming constants is that it helps improve the ability for you to read your program and it makes sense. It can also help future users who will be reading this program or troubleshooting it make sense of what you wrote. The other thing I need to mention is making notations. To make a notation, all you need to do is put the pound sign and basically anything past that pound sign is any sort of notes that you can write. You are hard limited in space. It, it used to be able to keep writing past that, but now it doesn't seem to any longer. Fix that. So now, with that in mind, when you are writing a script, the easiest thing for you as to begin with is once you set your housings and pins, to go on ahead and give aliases to devices, any aliases to registers that you intend to use for very small specific data, and also define any constants you wish to use in your program. And the reason for that being, and this is an example, as you can see, I defined G as gravitational force negative 1.3, and in here in the program, I forgot to rewrite that as G. This line will work just fine as it is, but I can also replace it with just G, and the script will run just fine. Additionally, if I come to find out that this that I am now on Venus, and preload this script from my library, the only number I would need to change is right up here to negative 
So that is the gravitational force of Venus. And when I confirm it and export it, my program will automatically use that number and up and use it correctly. So when you make it when you define a constant variable, it will help speed up not only for debugging or for changing numerical values on the fly. Now, as far as registers go, you have up to 15 registers, and those will be R0 all the way to R15. So you have 16 registers. Additionally, you have an RA register. This will be used for jump instructions, and I'll go over this later, as well as a stack pointer. And that will be used for the stack, which I will also go over later. You're free to rename these with any with any string that makes sense to you. But for a good general practice, I would recommend that you, you only name a register value if it is going to be used for only one specific point of data. Like for example, I am loading the mass from my avionics to a label M. And so I chose register 12 to be used for that. It would be to my best, it, it would be just good programming hi, uh, hygiene, good programming form that I do not use R12 anywhere else in my program. And that is why you still see some registers like R0, R1, and R2. Because I am loading R0 as a, from as velocity right here and later on at line 26 I'm loading the thrust because this changes based on where it is it is advantageous to not use this to not give this register an alias and just leave it as R0 so you are still free to do that and so I caution you as an individual give aliases to registers if you intend to use them for a single purpose absolutely define constants and this could the you could also define hash ids for different devices and to help you with your coding as well definitely make notes as you get more as you build i guess experience in programming you're going to find yourself doing this less and less and that's okay, but definitely give yourself notes so that if you have to come back to to a program that you've written because something is wrong, hopefully you'll load up something that's easier to read and not something like this and try to figure out where you went wrong. All right. Hopefully this covers alias define and how to make notations all right next up is going to be several videos and depending on what you need help with try to feel free to skip around but it's going to be kind of like a group of videos and we're going to write our first code all right hope to see you then